and Studs! Welcome back to the channel, my fellow LEGO fanatics. Spruce and Studs here, and we have a freshy fresh minted set just bought off the shelf at my local LEGO store. We will be building and reviewing the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 set, The Fish Tank. But before we do that, I'm just going to get this out of the way nice and early on during this video. And that is to please subscribe to the channel as your support means everything to keep the channel going. So mash on that sub button so that more Lego-y goodness can be cranked out by yours truly over here. As of release of this video, we are currently at 25 subs, which is awesome. For those of you who have subbed, your continued support is awesome and the channel would not be here without you. It may be too early in our relationship to say this, but I'm comfortable in saying that I love you guys. Oh, just to remind you, once we hit 50 subs, I will be starting to do small giveaways. Yup, you heard that right. I'll be sending out poly bags to a few lucky viewers. Just pay attention to my socials about how to enter the giveaway once we've hit that big 5-0 sub count. You can follow me on Instagram at Spruce and Studs. I always have content relevant to the channel on Insta where I preview sets that I will be building or sets that I'm in the middle of the building for video on this channel. You guys have insider access to the sets that I have bought as well. In fact, I just posted a massive haul that I bought from my local LEGO store featuring a whole ton of new August releases. I'm also on Twitter at Spruce and Studs. I also have some content relative to the channel, but if you like Pokemon TCG and Pokemon Go, then Twitter is definitely the place you will find me. I also do have some smattering of LEGO and Warhammer content as well. Going back to the set, the fish tank was released on August 1st, 2021, and weighs in at a piece count of 352. Those pieces will cost you $29.99, which in my opinion is not bad at all. As the name implies with these LEGO creator sets, you can actually build three different sets, with the main set being the fish tank, and the secondary sets being a treasure chest or an easel with a parrot painting. In this particular video, we will be focusing in on the fish tank part of the build, which is the main reason why I believe most of you will buy this set. Hell, the fish tank is the main reason why I bought this set. I will release the second part of the video at a later time, probably a few days after this one, which will feature both the treasure chest and the painting. I mean, what kind of content creator would I be if I didn't show you all that you can do with these sets, right? What's really nice about this particular set is LEGO provides build instructions for all three of the sets. I really love little sets like these. They are so easy to review and do not take more than 30 minutes to build, unlike other sets that are over a thousand plus pieces, which take quite a while to build and takes friggin' forever to edit. This set is so short and sweet, so the reason why I bought this set is because I love fish tank and aquariums. In fact, as a small child, I have always been infatuated with fish and other aquatic creatures, which is the main reason why I bought this set. Set. When I was a teenager, I finally got enough money to buy my first aquarium. It was a six gallon hexagonal shaped aquarium that was really small. I was extremely unexperienced and such a noob at fish keeping that I overstocked the tank with 10 fish, which were specifically, I believe, cardinal tetras. I can't really remember off the top of my head. And then when within the first few days, unfortunately, all the fish had died. I knew nothing about ammonia cycles, cycling your tank, basically anything about fish keeping. I was so devastated to see as one by one all my fish died. These were the early days before the interwebs, so I had to go to my local library, hit the books, and started learning for real how to properly care for a fish. Then I took a hiatus from fish keeping because I left to go to college, or didn't have enough money, or didn't have enough time, or didn't have enough room to store or keep fish. Then fast forward when I moved into my condo, I finally had enough time and space to support my hobby, so I slowly added more and more tanks to, I believe I had about five tanks going on at the same time. My biggest and my most favoritest tank back in the day was a 75 gallon tank that was about four feet long that housed Mabuna cichlids from Lake Malawi. Strangely, with these particular cichlids, you need to stock more than usual because you need to disperse the aggression amongst the fish, 
because these cichlids tend to be, well, very, very aggressive and super territorial. At any rate, I got bored of these cichlids and then migrated to peacock cichlids from Lake Malawi. Those fish are absolutely my favorite ones. They came in so many different colors, and just like their name, they showed off their colors so much. I had bright yellow ones, blue ones with red flakes, and fire red ones. For people who weren't aware that freshwater fish were so colorful, they thought the fish inside of this particular tank was saltwater every single time. Funny thing is that despite me telling them that peacock cichlids were freshwater fish, they still wouldn't believe me. So that tank was the centerpiece of my aquarium hobby, and I invested a good amount of time and money taking care of those peacocks in the tank. As I said before, I had four other fish tanks too. I had a 10-gallon tank that housed six multis from Lake Tanganyika. The reason why I bought these 1-2 to two inch very dull looking fish was not really because of their looks, but of their intelligence. They had no fear whenever I would come to the tank. This is because they knew I was their caretaker, and every single time as I came closer, they swam closer to the front of the glass because they were expecting me to feed them. Another cool thing about them is that they repurpose shells, specifically snail shells, and they will turn those shells into their own home. So each of the Maltese will defend a cluster of these shells from each other, and when one of them wanders a bit too close, they will chase the invader away. Then if the Maltese felt threatened, they would dart into their shells and hide until they feel that the danger has finally passed. The third tank housed only a beta or a Siamese fighting fish. This guy was also the king of a 10 gallon tank. The reason why I kept the beta was because they're so easy to take care of, plus they are absolutely gorgeous to look at. Through crossbreeding, fish breeders have been able to select out gorgeous traits on the betas. You can have male betas with massive flowing fins, fins that are half moon shaped, and so much more. Not to mention, the colors on the males are absolutely astounding to me. My favorite one that I had in the past was one that had the flowing fins, but the most important thing was the colors. It was simultaneously red, white, and blue. My fourth tank was more of an experimental tank that I kept freshwater shrimp in it. So the tank was a nano cube of only five gallons. I had a sponge filter in it so that the shrimp would not get sucked into the regular power heads, and I had a ton of live plants in the tank as well. It looked really nice, however, I was not really successful in keeping these shrimp because I could never get the quality of the water correct, so they kept dying on me even though I was armed with the knowledge to how to properly care for them. My last tank was your run-of-the-mill 20-gallon tall tank with a ton of plants and had community fish in them. Specifically, I had Neon, Cardinal, Buenos Aires, and Glowlight Tetras in there. This tank was my second favorite one because tetras are so easy to keep, but they had so many colors on them. You had the red of the cardinal tetras, the orange from the glow lights, and the blues from the neons, and finally, the iridescent sparkly colors of the Buenos Aires. You know, <sighs> talking about all these tanks makes me nostalgic and kind of makes me want to get back in the hobby again. Unfortunately, over time, life got busy again. And I first did not have any more room for the tanks, but most importantly, I just didn't have time to take care of these beautiful fish anymore. So one by one, I gradually shut down each tank, starting with the beta and then ending up with my peacock cichlid tank, which really gutted me because that actually was my favorite tank. From that point on, I have not had an aquarium running because, well, I have no time to take care of them anymore. So after this long story, that is what drew me specifically to this LEGO set. It is small, to the point, does not require any care, and most importantly, there is absolutely no maintenance. I love this little set because it reminds me of my beloved hobby. In fact, as I'm editing this video, I have the fish tank sitting right in front of me and I'm admiring right now as we speak. I love the colors of the different type of corals that are in the set and Coupled that with the various bright colored fish, I was completely sold and I needed to buy this set. I really have nothing negative to say about this LEGO set, as I think it is perfect and represents fish in a saltwater tank 100% accurately. In fact, this is my favorite set that I bought during the massive LEGO or 
summer Lego release, hence why we are building and reviewing it first thing. Sheesh. I just realized that I spent most of my time talking about the past history of my fish hobby, and I barely said anything about the set itself. Sorry about that. You can tell I got super excited and completely lost focus, as usual. So here you are seeing on screen a simple build of a mini submarine. I love how LEGO designers with just a few LEGO pieces can represent bigger objects. Also, you know what, please let me know in the comments section whether I got the fish names correctly on screen because I profess to know nothing about saltwater fish as you just heard me drone incessantly and ramble on about how much I love freshwater fish. So the fish that you're seeing being built right now is a clownfish as noted by the orange coloration as well as the white and black, black striping. And the fish that you saw me build before that was yellow and pink is called a Antheus, is I believe how you pronounce it. Out of all the fish that are featured in this particular tank, I think the, let me have to say, probably the yellow tang is my favorite one out of all of them. And there we have it, my brick family. Another set built, reviewed, and video done. Thanks for making it until the end of the video. I thank you, thank you profusely for your continued support and dedication to the channel. In summary, as I said before, I love this little set, and for those people who are fish keepers and aquarium fanatics who do not have the time or space to keep a fish tank, then this is definitely the set for you. In fact, I think I may buy another one of these sets and bring it to work with me so that I can have another tank there and at home. Anyway, let me know what you think about this set in the comments section below. This is Spruzen Studs, and I am out of here. I will see you all in the next build.